Hello everyone, I'm uh, Gavin Miller. I'm a botanist with the Toronto Region Conservation Authority, which is one of 36 uh, conservation authorities in Ontario. And I want to discuss another uh, invasive uh, ground cover that is uh, present here. This is uh, the well-loved periwinkle, but unfortunately, periwinkle is also a problem plant. Periwinkle is this evergreen plant here, which is uh, quite distinctive. It's got these very, uh, it's a very strongly evergreen, and in the spring it has these really pretty blue flowers. It is a forest ground cover from Europe. When I was working with the Conservation Authority, um, I once had a, um, a co-biologist from Europe come with me and he said, my, these uh, ravine forests in Toronto look just like the Carpathian Mountains in uh, Central Europe. Well, problem is uh, we want to have Ontario, uh, a distinctive Ontario flora as well. So periwinkle is something that you should try to th figure out a substitute for, especially if you live anywhere near a natural area. In dry, sunny areas, you could try uh, bearberry. It likes uh, light, sandy soils or gravelly, hot, exposed, sunny conditions. So that is also a very good low evergreen shrub. There's a uh, running strawberry bush, uh, which is a type of native euonymus, not to be confused with other euonymus that are invasive, that forms a, a low ground cover with uh, quite pretty orange fruit in the late summer. If you're looking for um, early spring blue flowers, Virginia bluebells may do the job. It's native to areas just south of Ontario and is reasonably good in, in a garden setting. Blue flowers in the spring like um, periwinkle, however, it is also not evergreen and will die down by midsummer. So you want to mix something else in there as well to take over from it. Thank you.